Yes, the wonderful song, This Is Me, sung by the very talented Kiala Settle in the wonderful movie with Hugh Jackman and a host of other great singing and dancing and acting people, The Greatest Showman. Yes, I'm not going to talk any more about it because you want to learn how to play This Is Me on your cello. So let's jump right into this wonderful song. There's your partition. Of course, you can always find that on MuseScore. I will play the beginning slowly for you. As you notice, it's not necessarily on the beat. Here, you shift up to upper second position. If you're unfamiliar with upper second position, there's a card, click on that, familiarize yourself, and come right back to this lesson. Second measure. It's a 1-4-2. Shift back to first position. The next line. Shift back up to upper second position. Stay there. Shift back. Measure nine. This measure nine, we're going to zoom into it real quick and show you the bar three three. When you go at the very end of that, you're going to put your third finger down nice and flat like this to really get that. It's super, well, it's almost impossible to play that clearly without any sort of extra noise. So bar that, that note. Nice and clean. Now at speed. Continue. It's the same concept. Have both of your fingers down if you can. And then, when we are glorious. <laughs> I'm not a singer. But this part's a little bit of a rubato. And then you get right back onto the beat. The end of four. All in first position. This song is in D major. If you're unfamiliar with D major, there's a card. Click on it and come back to this video. Again, from the last end of measure 12. And here, open A. I like to shift to the fourth position and play that not an open D. You can certainly play it at open D there. Continuing measure 25. One. This piece is a little bit off set, and so if you're playing on the beat, you're not necessarily playing correctly. It's rarely when you actually do the note changes on the beat. If we go back to the very first measure, we notice there's an eighth rest, so you're not playing exactly on the beat. I did my best of my ability to make this as easy as possible. I simplified some parts, so I hope that you do enjoy it. A last detail about the first part is after C and measure 58, you see three small eighth notes. Those are cue notes. You hear that in the recording on SoundCloud. Check that out. You hear that and it's going to come bum bum bum. You're going to play on the third eighth note. 
Pam, pam. So you come in on that and that's why those small notes are there. Those are cue notes. A good thing to know when you're reading this partition. In the second cello part, you start with the oh, a sort of chorus that's helping out, kiala. If you notice, it's a dotted eighth note, so it's not again on an easy to feel beat. It's supposed to be offset. Listen to it again. Do you notice my head making a little nod? That's me counting, that's me hitting the fourth beat. I'll do a little bit slower because when you're playing this, you want to always be offset again. And so you're literally bouncing in between the end of two or not even that, it's, it's, um, it's three sixteenth notes, three sixteenth notes, three sixteenth notes. And so it's kind of a little bit there, a little bit there. It gives a sense of urgency, a sense of tension, pushing forward. It's not really on the beat. You don't know where it's going. It's sort of mystery, if you will, about where it's going to happen. There's, there's engagement happening. And that's why it's so interesting to play that part. Thank you to my subscribers, to my niece, and to my friends. Thank you Cara Dion in Houston for performing this. And really thank you to all of you that inspire me each and every day. You guys, you cello players are the wind beneath my wings. And you expose me to this song and this wonderful movie. I love musicals and I love this stuff. So thank you for watching. I hope you learned something today and please consider subscribing. I upload almost every single week with tips, tricks, and techniques, lessons and covers of this wonderful instrument that you are learning with us on YouTube. So thanks again for watching and stick around. I think we're going to learn a lot.